Hello and welcome to episode 257 of EFAP's catch-up of Super Chumbos. We're here today to answer some messages, and so we shall, with the first being. Yeah. Just as South Park said, EFAP put a chick in it and made it late and gay. It was lame and gay from uh, South we Park, but we were, we might have been, I don't know, but it was worth it. Mm. They're talking about Nutsa, she was on there chatting about the marvels i believe she's not lame and gay though well she might be gay uh she's not lame well they said late what she's into oh late and gay but uh i mean Cotton's quote slash kathleen kennedy was 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 lame and gay so you know it's uh, some kind of some kind of revisionist history going on here nuts a hype nuts a hype nuts a hype true uh know that you along with all sentient beings are loved oh that's nice that's nice. Imagine Mola saying, Rags, orange dog magic. Oof. Because well, and then I would Rags have to have a word with him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is my powers. Yeah, these are my powers. You know, and then you fly and, and later on, you're like, okay, can we, can we have a chat? All right. Uh, that, that feels was, like, um, what was, what was that? What feels were you like doing? a, a new grounds meme where, like, well, that would come out right after the marvels where they say that the person slowly turns their head to look at uh, Fury after he said that, like, what the fuck? And then the girl just splats in the background, you know, because they don't go to help her. Like, that's the. It would have been a better movie. It would be funny. I feel, I feel like... No, well, I, it, you should say like Kamala. New Brown show would her. be a big argument, right? There'd be an argument, and then in the meantime, you just see on the side, <laughs> they're still having their yeah, argument. The end, yeah. And then they eventually realize, oh, <laughs> whoops. It's the same kind of comedy that... Um, so Smiling Friends has a similar kind of comedy where you have all these crazy characters and crazy scenarios, but everyone in those scenarios is talking extremely normally to the point That's where it's bizarrely mundane and mm -hmm. like normal. <laughs> it's so conspicuous because they're talking like actual people talk, which isn't something you often like see in cartoons anyway. They're like weird cartoon characters themselves. Like they're not even, you know, they're not like human characters. They're kind of like weird, al uh, like alien kind of like creatures that live in this world who react normally. I feel like the funny thing is just the crazy stuff that happens in the background sometimes. <laughs> like, where they're just walking down the street and there's a character that's being animated really bizarrely yeah. in the background. Or like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just amusing. Uh, with all these multiverse shit going on, I for one can't wait for Goku to show up. Eh, you know, hold mm. out hope. Might happen. Uh, just finished watching Anastasia on y'all's recommendation. Good film. Oh. Agree. Good yes, shit. very good film. Anastasia's great. Some of the best mm -hmm. songs in an animated movie, I think. It's a it's yeah, a yeah. really really good film. <laughs> also, Fringy, if you don't want people to think you're a bird, maybe don't make turkey gobbling sounds at the end of every episode. He can't help Look himself because right. he's a bird. He can't he can't help I, himself. Yeah, but, he's got to. It's not it's a turkey. It's a turkey sound is like <laughs> or something like that. Someone's <laughs> never been in the woods. Right. Wait, you got into well, the we woods, have... and it's, that's all it is. What? Yeah. You walk into the woods, they won't shut up. Mm. You're like, please, yeah. I'm trying to have a peaceful walk yeah, through nature like, here. Please, we're just trying to have a conversation between us turkey pals. Mm. And yeah, then you they came into our house. <laughs> that's we right. Here. Here. I feel like this whole sequence is not beating the allegations, you know? It's not helping. What? I'm just... Well, I'm talking like a I'm 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 imitating the way that a turkey would speak, but I'm speaking in English, which is not what turkeys tend to do. Turkeys speak turkey. Like, well, I'm... the whole point is like you, you you slip out these little things that give away the truth that you're trying to hide, you know? Well, oh, like no, okay. here's what the turkeys really do in the woods, guys. Trust me, I know. Yeah, what you should be saying is like, here's what they do. Woof woof. Oh, there's the turkey sound. Yeah. <laughs> That's the turkey, that right? Be... I don't know about birds. Yeah. I don't think that would be convincing anybody uh, of, of of something. But doing a hyper accurate anyway. vision, <laughs> gonna, that'll get them. Look right. uh, anyway, next super chat. Four years ago, Mola said it would be so hard to destroy the MCU. It would take like twenty bad films in a row. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Well, yeah. it's not how the turn type was. That was accurate. It is <laughs> funny because it does, like, it's always framed as, like, a, yeah, how do you feel now? And it's like, I don't know. Terrible? Accurate. <laughs> like, it's terrible. It and accurate. Sense. I mean, I didn't expect it to happen quite so quickly, but, um, but, I mean, it was like a dozen terrible films and shows, yeah. one after the other. Uh, now even Marvel admits that they failed. 
Which is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Seen one hour of the killer so far, and I'm confident it's better than the entirety of the Marvels. I'm out golfing. Enjoy the misery. I have only ever thought more fondly of the killer over time. I, uh, good shit. Really good movie. It's so good. Love that film. It's one of Finch's best films. Uh, just pointing out, if you read the credits, it cites not one, but two science advisors. They probably sell essential oil <laughs> candles. <laughs> to be clear, maybe that's where the confusion is. Too many... It's a science advisor that guy from lab, Red Dead Redemption. I like the idea. Red Dead Redemption. They sit the, the two science advisors down. They say, how many um, cosmic bangles do you think it would take to, let's say, open a portal? And they're like, well, you said Whoa. cosmic bangles, and my brain like had to reset and catch up <laughs> on what you mean. The other side is like, th th three? Cosmic three? <laughs> and the other side is like, what, one? They go, cosmic, so two? Like the things you, you wear? Um, you guys just be hating because strong women. Some Disney shills, probably. I honestly can't believe there are people who uh, like these superhero movies. Well, like, hey, look, there weren't many people who liked this superhero film. It lost over two hundred million dollars. So, but I think you know, people who saw it really liked it. When you eat like the really, really, really shit fast food from the shittest place you can imagine, you go, "Oh, who could like this?" And you see some guy who looks miserable just picking up a load of it and being like, <laughs> sitting there <laughs> hunched over like a ball in a seat yeah. with the fat sifting, like sliding off the sides, just slowly putting individual chips in his mouth. And then like, you know, he like says, it. it's the only thing that gives me joy in life. And you're like, it's not, buddy. It's not. Yeah. And he has protein and urine, like, in text hanging over his head. <laughs> like an objective marker in a video game. <laughs> protein and urine. Hey, Massives. Dead by Daylight has recently added Chucky from Child's Play as a killer. Thoughts on Dead by Daylight and their many collabs with other IPs? I assume I'm the only one that can really speak on this one, I guess. Is uh, is Child's Play one of the names of one of the, like a specific movie? Of that one is of the, the, so like it's the franchise. That's Child's the series. Play. Child's Play is the okay. Yeah, Chucky the Killer is the killer doll. Um, well, I thought he was an awesome addition. I think it's really cool. I think that the IP itself, sort of the way the game works, there's not a lot of expanding you can do without fundamentally changing the game. Uh, and I think that, as you can tell from over time, the mechanics like get edged out further and further in terms of trying to make something new and fresh. And honestly, I can't believe how long Dead by Daylight's been like going. It's insane that it's been this successful for what is it like eight years or something? That's been out for a while. Eight years, maybe six years. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. But yeah, it's just uh, for a, a niche horror game. It's got a very straightforward premise so to speak uh the fact that they've desperately tried to keep it alive by you know remixing moving things around but also maintaining the the core mechanics like, i think it's really cool um i fundamentally have a lot of issues with the fortnite slash uh pop figures slash uh, ready player one type blendering of ips you know, like space jam the sequel or whatever it was pop culture soup yes um but like meaningful collaborations, you know, especially ones that you can you could be like, oh, they should. Uh, it would make sense to bring in this sort of thing here and then doing it well, because you know a lot of people might say like Alien vs Predator that was never going to work, and it's like apparently it's like great in the comics, and I could totally see it working. It's just a matter of what your goals are and what people you've got behind it, sort of making it instead of just mm -hmm. being like, let's have John Wick shoot Thanos, like okay. I guess so. You recognize the things. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's always for context for me. I'm not entirely against it or for it. I just like, uh, I like some, dislike others. Like, I, I liked uh, a lot of people popping up in Mortal Kombat. I thought that was fun. Also, play Little Nightmares. I oh, like, uh, like the crossovers with, um, like Alien and Predator. Yeah, and Terminator, right? Um... Yeah, those, those seem like uh, the kind of things that's like, yeah, they feel like they can fit in. And they're like fun guest characters. Uh, high rags, mubles, and of course, from gold. Hey. Hello. Um, I guess speaking of that point, you mentioned people had been, um, with Helldivers 2 coming out, there has been a lot of talk about, uh, you know, other games that are similar to it, like, you know, Deep Rock Galactic, and how Helldivers, I think the devs said that they don't want to have just like a crazy mashup of everything. They want to actually, like, have a thematic consistency. Yeah. Cool. That's that's good to hear because it does feel like that's um 
You look at Call of Duty now, for instance, you compare it to the old games where they had clear factions that you could play as, and now it's like, you can play as Homelander, and you can play as, like, uh, yeah. you can play as, like, a T-Rex or something. It's like, oh. Yeah, uh, King Kong right. and all the, yeah, it's, it's absolute yeah. fucking madness. Um, no art style anymore. Oh. And it's kind of like, it's antithetical to their objectives, because the reality is that what people want from their skins is stuff like this. They want stuff that makes them stand out. They don't want like, well, this is a cool camo, but it looks like the kind of camo that a soldier would actually wear. They want it's like, yeah, I wanna I wanna play as like Snoop Dogg. You know, I wanna I wanna have like uh golden guns and, mm. and like uh and shoot laser beams and stuff like that. I wanna stand out. It is obviously particularly funny when it's a first person shooter, which means that you can't appreciate the aesthetics that you have unless you've been killed. Like, it's kind of fascinating how much stock is put in a, into aesthetics that you don't get to see. Like, at least in Fortnite, you get to see what your character looks like when you're playing. But in Call of Duty, you don't. And yet it's still a huge pillar of, uh, of, of the model. And I feel like it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's your showing off to other people. It's not about you. It's about other people recognizing you, seeing you, thinking that you're cool because you have the new, the new skin. It's, it's kind of like a fascinating phenomenon, really. Well, uh, plans on sharing your thoughts on the Pandaverse. Also, hi, Fringy. Um, hey. I thought it was awesome. Really funny. And pretty funny. Yeah, it was to work funny. With. I feel like they could make a whole season that relates to all of these things in culture right now, and it's uh, <laughs> hilarious to see them tackling it. Um, if anything was missing for the episode for me, it was... I felt like they could have done more to explore more sides of this whole discussion. Um... Because it was curious if they were making like it felt like they might have been setting up an actual full-on narrative to go with, like with the Panda Stone slash Disney slash different history and lore and different characters. Like you know, in the end, where the alien that took control of Kathleen Kennedy's role or whatever goes back to like that dimension where it's just horrifying or whatever. It's like I, I yeah. wonder if they're going to be doing something more with that, or if that was the point in and of itself. And it's like, hey, if, 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 I just. Uh, I, I I mean it's the same with anything South Park that I love. I want more of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, liked it a lot. If the novelizations of a much better sequel trilogy from another universe were available, would you read them? Interdimensional reading. I don't see the the value of that compared to just reading someone else's version from our dimension. <laughs> I don't know why. Like you know well, what I mean? Is it's... it is it of more value because it's canon somewhere else in no, a different not to timeline? Me. <laughs> like I just <laughs> like would you want to see, you know, the best version of this? It's like, well, I guess I'll just I could just do that in our dimension, hopefully. Well, actually if the if the wizard presented it as this is the best version in all worlds, I'd be curious about it. Then I'd read that, yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how likely do you think we'll have at least one more great Star Wars movie in theaters before we all turn eighty? Their guess is three That's out of ten. Great. I think I think it's high. That's got to be right. Surely that's got to yeah. There's got to be one, right? Yeah, there's got to be one. <laughs> they are going to pump the yeah, franchise the for every last high. thing it's worth. Eventually, they will luck out and stumble across a oh, creator that just, can make them something you'll good. You have an Andor situation, right? Like eventually, yeah. you just there'll just happen to be one, and it will be the one that they probably have the least faith in. So there's the least oversight. <laughs> It'll Captain... be a mistake, but it'll be, it, it's, it's what we call a happy little accident. Yeah. <laughs> I bet this stream makes more of a profit than Disney does off the Marvels. Yeah, by well, like 200 million know. plus, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes a dollar, the yeah. biggest box office bomb of 2023, mm -hmm. uh, and one of the biggest box, I believe that, uh, I believe that nominally it is the biggest box office bomb of all time and adjusted for inflation, I think it, it's, it might still be number one. <laughs> For the amount of money lost, it's crazy. It it did it did worse than the Flash, and the Flash was like one of the biggest box office bombs of all time. It's crazy. Uh, hi, Mauler, Rags, Fringy, and guests. Hello. Hi. Yo. I'm writing a story about a firefighter turned superhero. Would it be okay for me to use EFAP characters slash lore as side characters? Sure. Yeah, Sorry, I guess. Anyway. Open license on the EFAP memes. Goof-tastic fun times. You go ahead. Hope at some point down the line, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga gets a movie adaptation of sorts. Probably not. Who knows what they'll do. It could get bad. That. It could get that they just make shit tons with the IP and then... Uh, 
Possibly. Um, I'm not sure. It's, it seems like Nintendo was still being... Because the only other one that we know of is Zelda. That's it. Like, it's, it could. It's not like that, uh, it could, uh, but I'm not sure. It seems like it seems like Nintendo is uh, considerably more protective of their uh, of their IPs than everybody else is. I mean, obviously more so than Microsoft. Look at Halo. My God. <laughs> Why did they do the memory store again? Also, hi. Hi. Uh, oh yes, that's right. The, because it's memory, easy. Yeah. <laughs> because it's easy. It's, it's easy and <laughs> shitty. <laughs> like. Yeah. Uh, why go back and try? Why think of a reason? Why write well? Just say, just say they found a memory store and it plays all the memories in their heads that they need to see. It's easy. Writing is easy. I don't know where these two, these bozos, come across. Like, oh, <laughs> writing is hard. Yeah, that makes sense. No, memory store. <laughs> uh, people, the shadow or oh, Popple, the shadow thief, is one of my favorite Mario characters. Look the boy up. He's great. See, uh, Popple, the shadow thief. I yeah, I'm not. It, I'm guessing that must be from like the maybe from like the Paper Mario games, or I'm not sure because I don't I don't recognize. Oh, that we've name. seen this fella before, haven't we? We've been asked to check him out. He feels familiar. <laughs> yes, he does feel familiar. You've seen him. Yeah. Look at that grin. The shadow thief. <laughs> the shadow thief. Like, noticed yeah. guy. Look at that grin. Look at that hat. <laughs> I like good thief always has a uniform. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah, I do. I approve He's of him stealing. too. But he didn't make it into you know mainstream Mario, Mario characters movie. in the yeah. Super Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> uh, KK was butt hit by Pandaverse. Teehee. I can't imagine she would have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great look. Yeah. Unless she had a good sense of humor, but yeah. Hmm. You also have to take into account there was no Thursday preview for Incredible Hulk that didn't exist in 2008. Oh, I mean, yeah, there, there's no one. I mean, it's the lowest grossing Marvel film. It actually lost a lot of money because I think I think Ant-Man, I believe Ant-Man didn't like make its money back, but it wasn't like catastrophic. Like it wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't absolutely dire compared to the Marvels. Yeah, yeah. I hear nobody talking or having talked about Kung Fu Panda next. The four is it uh, four? Yeah, four. That's I haven't heard out. Yeah, that disappears. I've only I've only heard bad things, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And based on uh what's been said about the nature of how it even came to be as a project, it sound it sounds kind of crazy. Like some of the ideas that they had for it and um and seemingly how quickly it, it came together. But it seems like DreamWorks is in a bit of flux as well because now there are uh, They let go uh, a bunch of people, right? After their next movie, they're not doing, uh, they're not, they're not like animating in house anymore. Um, which is, you know, that's how they've done it. Uh, so yeah, that's like a big change. And I know that Pixar lost like 20% of its staff or something, something crazy, like 12%. It was a lot of people. Well, they have not been doing well in terms of their no, no money uh, and quality. No one. I but they got Inside Out two coming out, which I imagine they they're gonna hope will make a lot of money. Um, and it might. The first movie made a lot of money, but we'll see. Uh, hi Jay Longbone and hi Wags. Rude. Hi. There you go. I always leave him wanting more. <laughs> uh, I remember Nick Fury. He was in the MCU. Yes. Yes, he was yeah, at some point. He was one. I haven't seen him in a and while, all of though. his accomplishments belong to the Skrulls. Uh, uh, watch the Boogie2988 documentary. You can tell how much learned helplessness he's cultivated uh, cultivated over oh, the years. Oh, boy. Even after boy, are you in luck? Clash. Depressing. Oh, boy. Are you in luck? I've got some good news for you, my dude. That was a... Uh, that's probably going to get the vote for the best EFAP, I think. <laughs> probably. Probably. It's uh, pretty legendary. Pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, Muller, I had no idea you could tank a shotgun shot in Amnesia the Bunker. Insane. Never seen anyone have such a lengthy fight with Le Frenchman. Yeah, I mentioned that part confused the hell out of me in terms of what... Oh, I still gotta play that. Yes, you do. Why haven't you played it? I don't know. I've just been doing other stuff. Then play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I now. can't. We're doing yeah. Super Chat catch up. I can't. Oh, yeah. Download Steam. it now. There you go. Uh... You're you're gonna play one of them, right, Fringy, for uh, Halloween? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, I guess we should probably play Doctor Sen, right? Well, uh, yeah, you should. 
I mentioned it to the to the chat, I think, and they, they felt very 50-50 on which one they want you to do. Between Bunker and Dark Descent? Yeah, I mean... Dark Descent's a classic. Well, sure, but I, I if if it's under the assumption that he's definitely playing both of them, then I, I don't see a need to do any particular order. But if you're playing one of them for now, then probably Dark Descent, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do the bangles make you walk like an Egyptian? I don't think so. Maybe they should, though. It is also the original Modern Warfare 3 day. God bless. Uh, oh, what a game. Been. Probably was, My, yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't have that many strong memories of Modern Warfare 3, but the strongest memory that I have of Modern Warfare 3 is how my hand went numb from the, the controller vibration on the segment where you're flying around and you're shooting the, the gun on the side of the helicopter. Mm. That's the strongest memory I have of that game. Which I, uh, does not speak highly to that game's uh, quality. I... Modern Warfare 3, I think it's... I, what's interesting is that, like, Modern Warfare 3 categorically improved the multiplayer from Modern Warfare 2. Oh well, yeah, because um, 2 is awful. It, yeah, but 2 is so goddamn nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> just... oh, I had so much fun with Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. It was so chaotic. I um, still remember the first like, week of Modern Warfare 3 being a disaster for... So many people yeah. for the multiplayer, but obviously a lot yeah. of games launched that way. Modern Warfare 3, um, I remember I, I picked that up later because I wanted to play Battlefield 3 instead. Um, obviously Battlefield 3 is the better game out of those yes. two. Modern Warfare 3, just it's it's an interesting story because that was um that was a game that was developed um after respawn like split kind of. Um because that was a... Uh, no, not Respawn. Yes. It, well, Infinity Ward, uh, Modern Warfare 2, I remember there was a dispute after it came out, and then that was when Respawn got spun off. And so Modern Warfare 3, I think, was like the first Call of Duty game that was like a major one that had co-development, where they had to bring in other studios to help them make it. So I think Sledgehammer got created and they helped make it. Um, it, it had a short development cycle. I feel, I feel like that was the first Call of Duty game where people really felt like, Okay, this this really does feel like you've just repackaged um the the other one, you know, the last one. Uh that was that feels like Modern Warfare 3 Black Ops 2 was kind of like the transition phase, the beginning of the end of uh like Call of Duty, um, in terms of, you know, I guess what you could call its golden age. Cause basically I don't I don't have any fond memories of any of the ones that came out after Black Ops 2. That's the last one that I like. Because then you had Ghosts and Infin uh, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. And that was really disappointing, Black Ops 3. That was so the, disappointing. The last one I think I put any serious time into was Black Ops. Well, Things the last the one for was me. Modern, Warfare, Modern Warfare 2019. I played for, you know, a month or so. But then <laughs> Piccadilly. <laughs> Ooh, worst yeah, that, ever. Ooh, that got like everyone back and then we it gave up pretty quick. It's... Uh... Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I like Modern Warfare 3, it, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it ain't Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2, that's for sure. Rags, Risk of Rain 1 got a remake. Try it. I've, uh, I've heard, yeah. I haven't played the first Risk of Rain, though. I, I, I really like the second one. I've played that a bunch. Uh... Statue of Liberty no longer has Cap America, Captain America Shield. No, that's a it's a strange decision anyway. Feels a little weird, you mm. know. Yeah, the idea of putting Captain America Shield on the Statue of Liberty, I don't know. I don't know. That about seems that. like a thing that just would not happen. That that uh, that wouldn't happen. You're not fucking with the Statue happen. of Liberty. Yeah. You're gonna you leave it the way the monument. French goddamn made it. All right. Yeah. Get your grubby hands off the Statue of Liberty. It can stay green. Uh, hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, and I don't like how Nintendo is trying to remove the 93 movie off of streaming. Preservation of art, what's that? They consider it embarrassing, okay? But <laughs> I it's think, more embarrassing yeah. that you're not just going, you, you gotta own it. You yeah, gotta, gotta own like, it. That you was the thing like, that we you know did. What? Look at that. That was, that was, uh, that was at a different time. It was an experiment, and we've come a long Mistakes way. Mistakes were made. It's more cringy to be like, no, 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 you can't watch it, it's bad. It's, 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 it's. Uh, there's a box set 4K restoration of the 93 Mario movie that's being sold in Australia. I don't even... 
Frankie, oh, you have to acquire this. That's that sounds like language. a collector's edition that you everyone should have. Your people did this. I look forward to uh, us watching that and Mario movie That's back to back for Evo movies. Good. It's gonna yeah. happen, yeah. Uh, I have better legs than this movie, and I'm a wheelchair bound person. Oh my gosh! True, because uh, this this I mean, movie had yeah, no legs. It, uh, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I do believe you. Yes. Terrible opening weekend, and it did not. I love the cope as well. Of it was the actor strike. Come on, no, it like, wasn't. Yeah. Yes, the actor strike is the reason why it made one sixth as much money as the first film. Okay, that is that is hilarious amount just of goes, cope. It just goes to show we need to pay actors more. That's it. You nailed it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get a membership after another one thousand super chats. Well, I appreciate either. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin Fatigue. And Dave fail only, leading the way. Oh, Kevin Fatigue oh, and Dave oh, fail only. Jeez. <laughs> I like that Dave fail only. Fucking God. <laughs> oh, that's, funny, it rolls yeah. off the tongue really well. Dave fail only. Dave fail only. <laughs> yeah, I that's like really that. Good. Dave fail only. <laughs> that there might just months. accidentally happen in the future. I'll just say that, not even mm. meaning to. It'll just be an accident. Every time I hear about Monica Rambeau, I turn into that meme of Snoop Dogg shouting, Who? She, uh, she's she is a character. Yeah, she's a character. That, uh, yeah. She was really obsessed with Maria Rambo. We're gonna see more of her with the X Men. It's gonna be great. I da, I da, wonder. Da, if we da, will. Da, da. I don't know if we will. The I fact that they were... the fact that they've now openly admitted that they have failed recently with their last <laughs> few films is so fascinating to me because like Marvel never wants to admit that they failed. They're like so resistant to the idea of ever saying that they have failed in any way. The fact that they would openly say that the last few films have failed is uh, fascinating to me. EFAP on my birthday? You're too kind, Mr. Longo. No problem. It's like Doom Eternal when the corporate tells the scientists to let the demons kill them. Uh, oh, I never, well, I never played Doom Eternal, the, so... Uh, well, I guess it's related to the get eaten by the Cthulhu cats. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, once upon a time, there were three little girls who went to the police academy. Charlie's Angels, proper 70s female representation. Three little girls who went to the police no, academy. <laughs> no, th those things, Charlie's Angels, that's not, that didn't exist. There no, was no. Such no. Thing women in leading roles in action stories prior to 2015, okay? Well, with every year, that's the newest and first of the the newest yeah. first. Uh, mm -hmm. Captain Marvel to the Marvels will be the biggest box office drop off SFOD a sequel uh, since Alice in Wonderland to Alice Through the Looking Glass. Yeah, and it's a more dramatic one than even that one, I think. Um, and and Aquaman actually ended up making more money than uh Captain than the Marvels did, so because that was the only one that could threaten it. <laughs> It's so funny. A race to the bottom between, like, Aquaman and, and the Marvels. Uh, someone please make this pick a Futa meme. I mean, I, I, uh, luckily, I don't know what they're referring to. Uh, is Black Girl Magic the politically correct term for voodoo? I don't know. They thought it was funny. Uh, um, they were wrong. They were very, very wrong. wrong. I think the, the saddest part is, as far as I'm aware, it's, uh, it was improv from Samuel Jackson. Oh, yeah. And they, they kept it. Well, they thought it was real funny. Right. It's like, oh, okay. He's really good. It's really good, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really good line. He's a very established actor. Hi, Rags. Maybe that's what it was. Hi. Everybody was too afraid to say, now nah, we're not Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Any feelings or thoughts on Dark Tide? Uh, mm. Just play Vermintide. Oh, my mm. God. Vermintide 2 is a shit ton of content, and I think it's much more enjoyable. And Dark Tide is fine. There you go. Played Deep Rock Galactic, and Vermintide 2, and Helldivers 2, and fun stuff. Hi, Rex. Halo Firefight. Hello! Alright, just got home from work. Can only imagine all the crispy tism that's already been gone over, hoping for a long boy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a breakdown of the latest Marvel Sludge, so it's, uh, of course it was long. That's how it goes. Is Darben's shoulders the shoulders of the MCU? The guy from last week was talking about. This is too just a deep cut for me, but yes, her shoulders were very impressive. You could probably have a universe on top of it, and it would be stable. Impressive <laughs> is how I would describe them. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, dear Rags, Mola, Nutzer, and especially Fringy, I hope you all have a grand Thanksgiving. Please review a cool movie that you enjoy. Ooh, a cool movie? Uh, well, the we, Grey. Uh, we don't, we, we do. don't do Thanksgiving in, in, Amer in Australia, so I wasn't you should, celebrating you should any give, Thanksgiving. You should, though. Everyone should have we, a Thanksgiving. But we have, we have our own equivalents of those days, you know? Oh, good. Yeah. And, uh, and we did yeah, a Haunting well. in Venice. That's a cool movie that we liked. I thought it was good. Yes. Oh, I thought they meant cold. Uh, As in low temperature. Mm. Not many Kelvins. Crazy. Kelvins. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A room with marvels. Marvels made me crazy. Crazy? I think this guy's crazy. Hmm. Uh, I bet the sun's not even hot. It's all propaganda from Big Sun. It's worth well, considering. I mean... Yeah. Scrutinize everything. You know, don't trust don't trust anything. We gave them a full dose of planet psyllin. That could be applicable to so much of what happens in that movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh in All Star Superman doing what Captain Marvel killed uh, did killed him. Yeah, but she's better. She can do yeah, it with, with no consequence because that's a really good payoff. Yeah. Uh, you can just do it. And it costs you nothing. So why did you never do it in the first place? Uh, the worst uh, Thor is Thor 4. Turning one of your best heroes into a v v complete, I think that's supposed to be, uh, idiot and mocking male victims of sexual assault with that disgusting flick scene. It's just its just an awful film through and through. There's nothing about it Terrible that's film. worthwhile. Even to the point, isn't Chris Hemsworth recently said, he was like, that was yeah, a fuck up. Yeah, he said that he... Yeah, he has admitted that, <laughs> which is like, damn, it's so interesting. Marvel's in a place now where people just openly say that they that the films are bad. It's so fascinating. We're doing it at the time, but you know, I guess no, that's how it works now. Marketing wise, or yeah. and it I'm sure, I'm sure things will, time. I'm sure things will dramatically improve for no reason at all with the new ones. Hey, well, they said they're only going to make two now. That will make the scripts better. There you go. Hey, now we only yeah. get two terrible movies a year. That's not we did bad. it. Oh, it's, it's funny because they said two. To, they said two to three. That's like oh, so no different than two. the present situation. Yeah. You do so three what, movies a year, so like so you mean two? Two. You just want to leave the door open for three because leave it looks the door like open for three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, two to three means two. Uh, what does touching the portal tell you? Best case scenario, how it feels and temperature. Worst case scenario, death or portal implosion. Yeah, it's just worthwhile, isn't it? Just give it a, give it a little touch. Mm, just, yeah. Yeah. They um they do imply in that film. I think that at first it's it's do they're doing it for readings quote-unquote reading. It's just like, what does that even fucking mean? And then, uh, later, I think it's, uh, it's Carol that says she did it because it's pretty. Yeah, like, like oh, nice. well, it was interesting, so I wanted to touch it, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Not not one of the most seasoned heroes in the world. It's supposed to be wise yeah. above her years yeah, for like all that she's been through. Old. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Do you think Beyond the Spider-Verse will answer how incursions happen in the MCU? Across the Spider-Verse seem to hint at it a lot. Uh, I don't think so. No clue what's going to happen. I don't think they talk to each other. I think uh, I think it's safe to say that they don't talk to each other, like, between, you know, Sony and, and, uh, and Marvel. Uh, nostalgia critic of all people had a pretty funny skit about the Coen brothers Garfield. I mean, he, he does make jokes that are, that are right sometimes. He does. You can do it. I believe he in nostalgia critic. He can make jokes. Yeah. Uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score for this movie is super sus. No way the audience score is that high. It's just like Rise of Skywalker. There's just no way. You see the score and you're like, nah, <laughs> come on. That's silly. <laughs> Nobody's believing that. <laughs> uh, so if that's how the switch works, then Captain should have solved the movie by telling Miss Marvel and Monica to not use their powers since she could 1v1. Yeah. 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 100%. Obviously. Which, by the way, spits in the face of the whole movie's point, which is that you're stronger yep. together. Which is that you gotta work together, but you're not. <laughs> Literally, the mechanics dictate that had they just sat at home and watched TV, she could have done everything easily, and less people would have died. Uh, Maria Hill had scenes filmed for this movie that were cut, so I think it originally was before Secret Invasion. Uh, oh, like the order and everything. Get, I mean, it's pretty obvious that um, the Marvels was the mm -hmm. victim of substantial cuts and rewrites. Well, to be fair... I'm not sure if it makes more or less sense being more before or after, because if they showed us sending the scrolls to New Asgard and then we watch Secret Invasion, which makes no reference to New Asgard at all, 
mm. uh, that would, I don't know if that's well, better yeah, or worse because that's just like you, we just watch to... them do it. We watch them put the scrolls there. You can't just then say there's no way for the scrolls to go on Earth. I think you just have to bear in mind that the nature of um, any connections that exist between these projects is like basically minimal to nothing at all. When they say that they will connect, they they barely do. Yeah. Like they barely have anything to do with each other. These stories. Uh, hope you guys are okay. Love what you guys are doing. Yeah, we're doing, doing oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. Da Ben shoulders are the roof of a house, and her head is the chimney. Try unseeing that now. I think that makes her a better character if you think about it that way. Uh, Gen V uses a Wilhelm scream for a victim during a college terrorist attack. More than just bad writing, it's cringe and tonally flumed. High ranks. I probably wouldn't ah. use a Wilhelm scream for a not just serious scene, but one that's like evoking stuff like that. Probably would avoid that. Um, I, I'm all for it in what could be considered a serious action scene uh, in a certain context. You know, think of like um, Return of the Jedi. You know, you call it serious, but uh, the, the, with the the barges, but like it's still got room. Yeah, like for... it's meant to be taken seriously. Yeah, but yeah, that's, uh, I haven't I haven't seen Gen V, and I have no intention to see it. It's the TV show for the boys, right? The spinoff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. And Luke. hi, Rex. Hi. The annihilator hates being called that for annihilating. Indeed. Hmm. There's just there's just too much cringe with that. Like. She teleports mm -hmm. in somewhere she doesn't want to be. Someone tries to hit her, and she doesn't care about what's happening or what's around her, other than this guy called her the Annihilator. Like, hey, don't do that. Yeah, and for that, she throws she throws him like through the roof. It's just she's such a shit hero, not a hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like that don't the Marvels more so than any other movie so far has actually pointed out that she's a shit hero in a couple ways. Not as much as they should, but it does have elements of the story that are like. Wow, you're just obsessed with yourself, aren't you? Because she's like, no. Yeah, like you're <laughs> just the it's this it's this combination of stupidity, uh, narcissism, mm -hmm. attempts at wit, uh, this this aloofness. I it's just a it's a terrible combination. I don't know if it is its own archetype, but if not, it should be, and it should be regarded as a terrible one. Um. Do, do, do. Humanity Lost has no humanoid aliens. It's cool. Hi, Fringy. Hi. Hey. Mm, I'm guessing yeah, that's that cool. something to do with something that I'm sure I brought up and may have brought up in that episode, which is that uh, that Marvel's interpretation of science fiction is super lame. Everybody's a human everywhere, no matter where you go. There's no yeah. crazy, wacky aliens. It's why, um, what was his name in, uh, in Ant-Man again? Woo oh, Glib? No, um, Glorp? Veb. Veb. That's right. Yeah, Veb. <laughs> I, he looks I, like I, a Glorp. Not to be racist, but he does really look like a Glorp. Veb. Veb wasn't just a human or a human with green or blue paint. Like, he was actually an alien mm -hmm. who looked very uh, unlike a person. I love that. It's just like, yeah, that's, 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 more, that's more fun and interesting. Who, by the way... Uh, Rags, if you didn't know the connection, but he, uh, Veb was voiced by the lead in Late Night with the Devil. Oh, I that's did not know that. David Desmelchian. Oh, yeah, that's right. Who, um, that's cool I feel like is, is over, over the years getting a bit more on the map. Good for him. I remembered him most of the time him. as random Joker henchman who got tortured by Batman in Dark Knight for a long time. Look how far he's come. Look how far he's gone. Now he, now one day he can become the torturer. Yeah. I myself just chucked a grenade at him once I found out he's camping in a corner. Oh, they're talking about, uh, I'll try and avoid speaking more on, uh, on, because you guys, you guys could both maybe play the bunker at some point. I do recommend any, uh, Amnesia fans. The bunker was a good experience. I liked it a lot. Oh, good. Good. Very good. Admit it. This is the kind of content that creates a cult classic. You mean we the are... Marvels? <laughs> no, according us, to, um, we are a cult classic. Uh, according to Robert Mike Burnett, um, with statistics, apparently the Marvels is doing well on Disney Plus, at least relatively. Like it was, it's, it was at the top of its like leaderboards, so to speak, for a decent amount of time. I guess um, it probably got promoted like crazy when you opened up yeah, the app. 
So the people are about, like, oh, yeah, let's watch this, I guess. The thing about stats like that is I just, I cannot, I feel like we're lucky to have box office as a stat. It's because you know that they would never tell us if, if they had a chance not to, unless they did really well, right? Like the end game. But I like that we get that, just the flat information that cannot be, you know, spun. I mean, they'll try. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. From RPOV. Meanwhile, like any stat from Netflix or Disney Plus, I'm just like, is that even true? Mm, and then what is it based yeah, on? And how does it me. compare to other things? And and I don't know. Maybe they're talking about like overall. Because you know how you can go on the main menu and it'll start playing shit. It's like that doesn't count. Shut up. I haven't even clicked anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's that and just this element of like you you don't have to you don't have to give bad news. And you only have a reason to make your yeah. good news fluff yourself up. So, I just, you're just not a trustworthy source. You you are a very biased source. Animal fact: herbivores do not actually exist. Everything believed to be one consumes meat regularly. Ninety nine percent of them go go out of their way to get it and prefer it to live. I don't. I don't believe buy that. It. No, that doesn't sound right to me. Yeah, I feel like I would have heard this before if it were true. I don't know, I just yeah. feel like I've gone outside, you know? Well, and that's just you know, a cow, right? Like, what's a cow eating? It's, it's grass all day. Just eating. Yeah, we would have heard about, about it, right? It's going like, out of its way yeah. to eat yeah, that, critters? Yeah, the cow goes it's out not. of its way to, like, find rats and eat them. That just doesn't Could you imagine a cow hunting a rat? A <laughs> 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 tiny little rat. Ah, that sounds like a Tom and Jerry cow, situation, though. doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> Uh, are we supposed to have believed the Civil War was happening during Guardians of the Galaxy 1, when the Nova Corps called the Kree government to deal with Ronan? Uh, honestly, the, there's a couple of difficult things to understand in terms of the cosmic side of it. What's, what's funny about that is that it would have been James Gunn's responsibility to make that cohesive, and then he got booted, so now it's just going to be as fired, fucked as everything else. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, also, with Endgame rules, shouldn't the blip have saved Hala? Uh, oh, you mean like when half of the people, yeah, because then the resource problems are going to be considerably <laughs> less strained. Kind of funny to think on about. that well, planet. The thing yeah, is, the problem is I don't want to think about the snap or you know the blip at all anymore. If Earth had a, an empire that spanned galaxies, well, f fuck it, just, just for the sake of this argument, it's, you know, half a galaxy, quarter of a galaxy. Let's just say that a lot of planets is my point, and uh, we lost our water, our air, and our sun. Uh, we're moving. I like yeah, Earth and everything, but we're moving. Climate. Yeah, there would there would be some people who stay behind to probably preserve the stuff that we have or gather up all of the elements of civilization that is, you know, worthy of preservation, all that, you know, our culture, historical things and whatnot. But Oh, it would be I would even believe it's protected. Leave. It would be like that is the, the, the gem of, you know, humanity and we will get it back. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with it at some point. Especially in that stupid world where anything can happen. But, uh, yeah, it would become the uh, the the goal of the you know civilization would be to reclaim yeah. those things. Uh, so I was gonna go see this last night, but my roommate is having a cancer scare. Heading to theater to watch shit tomorrow. Now, hopefully, you're still going when it's over. Can I get a fuck you cancer? Absolutely. Uh, fuck you. Definitely. Cancer. Damn. So, uh, well, hopefully, it's scare. So maybe something's happened in the meantime that it's that it's it's okay. Yeah, I mean. There's Hopefully it's not cancer, and then, of course, if it is, hopefully yeah. you've caught it early. That's always the, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's, it's a ridiculously that, asshole disease, and nobody likes it. Not that that's a surprise. Um, like a, like a health glitch. Did you see, um, Kyrgyzak's video on smoking, by the way, Fringy? I did. It was fascinating. Uh, that might like, be the best video cigarette? ever made on smoking. Like, yeah. the fa it opens with it, about two to three minutes of explaining why smoking is awesome, and it's very candid about it. Like, it's like, and smoking... And then it just leads into... Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, yeah, it has these effects on your brain. Like, this is the reason why people do it. Like, don't pretend... Like, you have to understand that people enjoy it. That's why they do it. Yeah, um, it, it, they, they're almost saying, like, goes, we need to be yeah. honest about it instead of being silly about it. So he, like, just goes through the, the surface level, sort of, like, it's, it's fun, it can be very cool, it's a... Uh, Socially it speaking, has social uh, aspects. yeah, like, and it and, and he goes through the psychology of like what what it does. It can help you focus. It can make a good thing feel great and a bad thing feel okay. Um, but then just then it's like, all right, now let's just walk through what it actually does to you it, physiologically. That's destructive. 
Yeah, and he starts like simply, and it gets worse and worse and worse until it gets yeah. to like the worst shit ever. And it's just like this is one of the most destructively horrifying things, and you're lucky if you live, you know, uh, X. I think time. the I think the emphasizing on the the nature of it is like persistent, permanent damage being done to you. I think that's the thing when when it's permanent, it's like okay, all right, that's yeah, oh shit. Like the idea of, oh, these scars, they're just here forever, and your breathing is now worse, objectively, categorically, forever mm -hmm. until the end of time. It's hard to believe that uh, it's just a thing that was normal, that society just did it, and it, it just, everyone did it all the time. Like I had mentioned before, I was, I'm, you know, I'm at the age where I was kind of at the tail end of smoking sections in restaurants. People used to smoke on planes. You'd go into hospitals, and all the nurses and doctors would be smoking. It was just... It's it's crazy to look back and think on that. That was just the th that was just what you did. Yeah, it's uh yeah. Well, I mean, I remember at uh, at school we had the thing where they they you know it'd be like, hey, so let's talk about smoking. Let's talk about alcohol and and the nature of these things. Um, and that was like around the time when it felt like yeah, if we were starting to see like yeah, no more smoking in like hotels or bars or in public spaces, basically at all. Uh, if there's no EFAP next week, this is the last one for me for seven weeks because of Air Force basic training, so if not, I'll see you all in mid-January. Well, oh, welcome well, back. Me, yeah, welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> Hope you had Hopefully a good time. Hopefully you had time. a good time and yeah. learned a lot of cool things. It's, uh, sounds like an engaging event, and I assume there's more to come. Um, and hopefully you, you enjoyed catching up on the, the lost time of EFAP. Uh, imagine buying 20th Century Fox and wasting it. Imagine wasting all of your own IPs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, goddamn. Yeah, you damn. have to move on to someone else's. Yeah, have start wasting everyone else's. Um, guys, the planet told her to smile. What follows is in continuity with previous exchanges. Ah, uh, that's why she turned it off. Okay. She zapped the sun's hand. If you teleport with whoever and whatever you're grabbing... Couldn't Monica go into space with a suit, wait for Carol to grab the lady, then teleport her into space, killing the villains super easily? She could punch her, and she'd be dead. Yeah, yeah, she could just punch yep. her. The she film has to try and avoid addressing that. Light. It's like, nah, she sucked her powers or something, or nah, she hit the, the bangles, or nah, she didn't use her punch because she thought she'd zap her with the regular power. It's just like, shut up, she could have easily have killed yeah, her. Just, just physically... Punch her with your arm. Uh, except for it to be fair, the bangle. Um, she is more powerful than the average because of that. Though they were never clear on those mechanics anyway, so I don't. No, know. it's just like what it's the, weird. Does the hammer it's not like give her power? The, she shoots the laser and then she'll like block it with her arm, and then that will be like how she gets powered up. Well, yeah, or, the... like Carol grabs the thing, and then that's what powers her up. They have to keep doing that instead of having her fly in speed of light and instantly vaporize her. That's what I mean about like how unclear it is, because the the bangle itself, like, it's like, can anyone use that? I guess it's like, yeah. And also, what what does it do for you? And it's like, does it give you base stat boost? And it's like, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. And then of course, the universal weapon. What what is that? Yeah. Does that a do hammer. anything for you other than be a hammer? And it's like, mm. but it's like, yeah. But I feel like what we saw in uh. What we saw in um, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is, like, the hammer itself ain't that useful. <laughs> you know, the power stone is what makes it a super-duper awesome weapon. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have that. But the hammer is purple. It's purple, but it there's no, got a there is no power stone. Power stone's gone. Doesn't exist anymore. Marvel's... But the hammer is purple. Marvel's Mr. Khan, the only action figure worth collecting. Um, well, I like the the mum <laughs> as well. Yeah, she's, Mom's chill. she's the best character in the Miss Marvel show and the best character in, in the Marvels. The fact that she's the only person that pushes back to get Kamala out of this whole fucking adventure, which she shouldn't be a part of, is... is uh... But she is, she is the voice of reason in a particularly unreasonable world. Yeah. She nope. is some strange extra dimensional interloper. Yeah, in she in some sense she must be because she seems to just make all of these normal correct observations. She's the incursion. <laughs> so question, if the rule that they have to use their powers at the same time didn't exist, would the film be any more coherent? Uh 
I well, I feel like the film has to change dramatically if that's yeah. the case, but it probably well, wait, would if, end up being more coherent. If they mean everything stays the same, but the rule is they just change it random, seemingly random, like uh, there's no system to it, I guess it becomes oh. more coherent, but it's still, there's not holes now, there's just hyper coincidences. Yeah, and in that case, then, instead of the decision to bring Kamala, which would have no justification if it's just, don't use your powers, you'll be fine, in that case... There's way more cause of what we actually have to stick together because if it happens at random, yeah, then, that's actually true. You know, we have to stick Though, together. So that fixes that problem, but it creates a whole bunch of new ones with contrivance. Well, and if it stays the same too, the whole scene of them learning their power doesn't make any sense. The switching, I mean, it's no. Like, it's, so no, it just creates a whole bunch of new problems. Yeah, so I don't know if problems. that makes better or worse. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But can Goose be our wingman? You wouldn't want Goose as a wingman. He'll eat you and uh, scratch <laughs> your eye out. You know. That's right. Goose is a menace to society. This goose, yeah. I was working at the theaters on Friday and there was a 3D The Marvels that was completely empty. Oof, and my largest was 16 in a room fitting 250. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> well, I mean, great. I mean, we know that had to be the case now with how much money it lost. Mm hmm. Norway has a space launch facility in the north for polar orbits. The main thing is to not have populated areas nearby. Oh, what? Because we were probably talking about like the nature of having a uh, a space yeah. elevator connect to like New York, because, uh, and yeah, of course, the space launch thing. There's a reason why everything gets launched out of like Texas or Florida. Um, it's like yeah, you got, you want to launch over the water. You don't want shit falling off of these spaceships and then landing yeah. on populated centers. It goes over the ocean. Mm hmm. Bringing is from the no dimension. <laughs> Neat. No. no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. You said it. From, I, I didn't. I said no, I'm not. That's what they say in the no dimension. Ratchet oh, and so. Clank made take resources and pieces of a planet make more sense. The planets would lose celestial balance, so to speak, and spiral into the sun. Ah, uh, yes. Chairman Drek's plan makes more sense. And, and more, moreover, his, it, it's so funny that that's the case, because for those of you who don't know, Chairman Drek's plan in Ratchet and Clank was he was going around taking chunks out of planets so that he could create a new planet and sell real estate on it. And uh, even he acknowledges that doing this would naturally destroy those planets, but sacrifices must be made for the greater good. And, and the whole point was that, um, and I remember as well, that the plan for him was he was going to create this new planet, uh, but then he was just going to pollute that one as well so that people would move to, so that he could just keep the scheme going forever, sell people homes bastard. on that planet. Pollute. Yeah, he was a real he was a real dastardly villain, um, but then then Rash and Clank stopped him as a team. The yeah, worst Clank thing about him was the hypocrisy. Story about teamwork. Uh, <laughs> man, Rash, it's it is funny because somebody be like, because Rash and Clank tells a far more coherent story than the Marvels. It does. It's more coherent. It has a more straightforward character arc of two people, what you know, coming to resolve their differences and work together and save the day. Yeah. And it wasn't even, like, their top priority. They were trying to make a video game that was fun. Uh, Rip Maria Rambo. Yeah, I mean, she's been dead since, well, for a while, I guess, in canon. Since WandaVision. Yeah. Rags, black girl magic. <clears throat> oh, oh, God. There he it goes. didn't work that time. Uh, I'm flo Oh, God. I, have, I'm, I, I started floating. I got a... Ooh. I forgot to tether it. I forgot to tether myself. No! I gotta, oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> I gotta, I got, if I blow, spy. if I blow upwards, I can come back down. I think so. Nailed it. Just saw Remember Me, Angel Season One. Liked it a lot. So that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Very good one. Momentum, right, back, back. a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. Yep. Good times. I'm going to make a show for that as well, right? Well, with J.J. Abrams producing, isn't it? It'd be great. Oh. oh. <laughs> I love uh. this movie. I especially love the part where Darth Helmet goes on... Sorry, Dark Helmet, it would be. Goes on to ludicrous speed to catch Captain Marvel, but got stopped by Black Girl Magic. It's so funny because they have the giant vacuum cleaner sucking up the atmosphere from a planet in uh, Spaceballs. And, mm -hmm. like... The Marvels is, is basically just ripping off that, that whole sequence. And, and 
I just don't think you want to be ripping off space balls for your very serious sci-fi movie. No, not a not a good not a good idea. She was too greedy in the shoulder room. Definitely, uh, def leave definitely. some shoulder for the rest of us, Dar Ben. Exactly. Those shoulders are peak fire. True. <laughs> Doesn't he say <laughs> using both bands together is safer? He does. He does. He says uh, uh, without the second bangle, is it's very likely that it would be too unstable to do what she wants. She needs the second and yet, one. Yeah, when she uses the two of them, that's what kills her. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just that's nothing. It's just funny. I think I think they changed their mind. On yep. her. I think it's safe to say they just changed their mind on that one. Kyrgyzak's video showing how unique Earth is. Billions of years of specific chemical reactions to make it the life-supporting planet it is today. Nah, you just grab up the just grab up the uh the the air and then you put it there, and then that's it. Yeah, Earth's Big been through a lot. Earth. It's been through a lot. Yeah, a lot of phases. With relativity, especially with close to light speed movement, events happening at the same time isn't a thing, uh, except in the same reference frame. No commentary on that one. They, had, right. they had science advisors, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they had, had Cosmic Bengal advisors. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that is so funny, science advisors. Who are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Like, that's just a lie. Like, what, you got You got all the ones from Interstellar? <gasps> mean. The way you described the I cutoff mean, between character development and plot reminds me of Quantum Mania. Uh, do we ever get any resolution on Monica's resentment for Carol? Because that was a nuanced development setup back in WandaVision I actually liked. Well, it's it's very simple. She says when they after the uh, Aladdin stuff that uh, she's stayed away because she didn't want Monica to see her as the person who did what she did to to Hala, and then Monica's like, "That's why you stayed away." Oh man! And then they hug. And that's it. All right. They yeah. Did but, literally right, nothing that's with wrapped it. Wrapped up. Yeah. No, they resolved their issue. Nothing at all. As a Every time I saw Da Ben give a speech without the heroes attacking is the perfect definition of the if character is not on screen, they are on pause. Yeah. They actually, it, it is weird, right? Do you remember when they, they're on Tarnax and she starts doing the uh, I am evil speech? Captain Marvel's just watching her. Yeah, it's like, you could fly up there and stop her right now. Nah. <laughs> That's too easy. Hello, EFAB gang. I sent it a super chat some time Hi. ago about my dog. Her health is much improved. Just wanted to pass that along. Get some good news among the Marvel sludge. Also, happy Veterans Day. High ranks. Hi. That is, uh, that is really good news. We're glad to hear that. Hope she's still doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, if you added too much matter and atmosphere to a planet, would that increase the mass and effect of the orbit of the planet? Same for a decrease. High rags. Hello. Yes, as far as I know, it would. Because changing the mass will change the gravitational pull of the object. Um, but in the MCU, almost every planet in every other universe is occupied by oxygen-breathing humans. Cool, Disney. Real cool. Oh, also play DDLC, Dumbos. They, um... They're just no other viable planets exist for anybody. The Kree or the fucking Skrulls. This is how it has to be. Shut up. Even fucking oh. Titan is out there. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, the, just go there. I know that it's, it's like, well, the, the, did they all die estate. on that? That's another one that doesn't really make sense in Infinity War. Like, his whole race died, but they looked like they had hyper spacefaring technology. Oh, how did Thanos yeah. get off? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, how did that <laughs> How did that even happen? I don't know, whatever. Just leave. Go to another place. Who smiles less in their own movie? Man of Steel or Plank of Wood? Plank of Wood, right? Man of Steel has a few smiles, right? Ooh, that could be tough, actually, if sure. you actually want to find out. Yeah. When he talks to his mom, does he smile a bit? Oh, sure, but you have Plank smiles at, like, Monica, I think. So, you know, you get one or two. Also, mm. salutations, canine named after used piece of cloth. What do you mean used? You don't have to be used. <laughs> rag doesn't, yeah, rag doesn't. You think, you, rag you, think you go to the store and you're like, all right, we have the cloths and we have the rags. The distinction is this one is new <laughs> and this one is pre-owned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, there are like can, a, yeah. at least a thousand gates. How does adding three gates affect it? Like with a thousand, that's an increase of zero point three percent. Oh, they're talking about the the jump points. Well, this, but there are unstable ones, is what the, the logic is. Yeah. 
any um, any any science advisor can tell you that. Well, of course. Howdy, massives. Played Dark Descent for the first time last month, and uh, other than falling through the map at one point, it was great rat. Still need to play the not-horror game. Looking forward to it. Go yeah. nuts, yeah. Have fun. Glad you just enjoyed be, uh, Just be aware of how not a horror game it is. and How not scary it is. There's nothing spooky about it at all. There's nothing dreadful or scary about it at all. Should have done a cat scan of the eggs. They have the technology to know what was in those eggs. That should never have been a surprise. No sense at all. As someone who loves dancing very energetically at the clubs, I was genuinely insulted at how exhausted Monica looked after doing almost nothing. It's weird, man. There's a little shuffle. She barely changes from the motion of walking, and she's exhausted from it. I think maybe they cut something. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, why my yeah, daughter just know. called saying the same thing you guys were saying about the genocide? She's graduating from cinema sinning to full-on Mauler-induced rages. Well, well. That's how it, That's how it happens. And all That's of a sudden begins. you feel like, oh no, have I become the monster? Yes. And I swore to destroy. Why do we always hurt the ones we love? Uh, Captain Marvel used black girl magic. It's super effective. Captain Marvel won the argument. Yes, she did. And boy, what an argument it was. She's really cool. PSA. Don't keep watching new Marvel movies. Poo. Watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. instead. Tasty. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Blurkins are now literally exactly like Kirby. I feel like Kirby's better. Yeah, Kirby is better. Surely Kirby's better. Kirby well, helped you. Kirby Kirby's, is a hero. Kirby's a chill dude. Yeah. Kirby's a fun guy. Mm -hmm. uh, all the comments on Facebook for this movie are cringe. A lot of them aren't real, from what I gather. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't I worry think about Facebook it. is just like a. a no, it's a really good thing. movie. Oh, it's so fun. People were saying it wasn't good. They were crazy. It's so good. Like, what? I said, I don't know, man. Seems weird. Um, IRL is a brain disorder that prevents speech but not singing. I can believe that. Uh,. Um, because the thing is, there's there's brain disorders that are fucking crazy. Like the, the in terms of what it does, because yeah. the brain is a huge complex thing. Uh, yeah. And as soon as we fully understand exactly how to manipulate it, that's probably GG for humans. <laughs> I guess we're just like, here we go, pull all the levers, press all the buttons, and now I'm a super genius. Bro, they ripped that sun ending from All Star Superman. It's that Soup sacrificed himself to save the sun. Still silly, but at least Soup's died. Yeah, but she's so cool that she 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 doesn't even. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she's fine. When the dying sun is no brought problem. up, I can't help but think they ripped off Pokemon, where Necrozma stole all the light from Ultra Megalopolis. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like Mewtwo sacrificed himself to like restart the sun or something. <laughs> <I'm surprised laughs> uh, that Loki explanation of him becoming Yggdrasil contradicts Thor's explanation in the first Thor. It's nonsense. Nah, you see, it's genius because that was Loki the whole time. That's the point that they're making, I'm afraid. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, you could. I don't even know where to begin. He's, <laughs> why bother? Why, he's a big why? tree, big time tree. The world is built on the tree. It makes sense. Shut up. Like, I think there's a part of my brain that wanted to make a, an earnest attempt at deconstructing a defense you know, of Loki's plot. And then I was like, wait, what am I doing? Why do I give a shit? Thinking about how, like, how is Loki going to turn up in stuff now that he's supposed to be on his throne pulling all... And I was like, you'll just turn up. You'll just turn just up. It won't matter. You'll just turn up. You'll just be walking around. Um, please listen to Sacre Black and the Queef secretions. Um, uh, maybe. I'm not... I don't know, man. Mm. Like, if you call yourself the Queef secretions, I... You're giving yourself, like, some unnecessary work. Symbolism. <laughs> Uh, this story definitely starts with a lot of setup and ends with a conclusion. One of the movies of all time. Also, will Gaia using her power swap her? <laughs> will Turn I think the real she, question like you need to be asking is if we will see Gaia ever again? Ever again? Probably not. Yeah. But um, I don't know right. the yeah. like actually addressing that. I don't think she has any. She doesn't have Kamala's powers or the Bangle, so she wouldn't have been connected to all of this. No, because that was a matter of the two people who would have. Because they were touching the portal at the same time. Yeah, and and, and also the only cool angle that it would, it would work is if she had one of the bangles. Right, <laughs> Kaya was also looking for. Oh, also at a near, another portal. 
for some I'm a reason. Touch for some reason. At the same time. Yeah. Uh, something, something. You hate women, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What do you think about the time stone being green because of Loki? But no, just shut up. Such so stupid. Trust the process, Kevin Feige. No, 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 no. Go away. <laughs> Liar. It's green because of Hulk, obviously. I'm pretending it's Loki. It's not him. Because oh. it's clobber in time. Exactly. No, fuck. That's the orange one. That's the, the thing. <laughs> Mr. Thing? What's no, his that, name? He says, he says thing. thing smash, doesn't he? Thing. <laughs> thing. No, he says it's Hulk smash. Time. Yeah, no, it's Hulk he, smash. He and says thing smash, time. and then clobbering time is what Hulk says. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Well, that was that's Hulk's name in Ragnarok. He's the clobberer. Clobberer, the clobberer. yeah. I am he who clo <laughs> the, he who clobbles, clobbles. Yeah, he who clobbers. Hey, I work yeah. at a cinema. We have already stopped showing the Marvels. The Autism League had a private screening of the movie, and no one else has seen it. Oh, the Autism League. You can't call it that. And yet they did. <clears throat> Uh, disavow. Disavow. It's Remembrance Sunday. Be respectful. What are you talking about? Like the movie or like? <laughs> it's like how dare be respectful, the don't re release. <laughs> how dare the Marvels release this trash on Remembrance Sunday? Uh, ops for meme and his cat. Yeah, yeah. The meme's taking care of his cat. I uh, hope they're doing well. Of course, this one says I saw scribbed. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much, man. Who would you guys say are your FNT counterparts? Personally, I'd say Mauler is Gary, Ryan is uh, Rags is Ryan or Az, and then I don't know about Fringy. I don't know. I guess those are pretty solid. Uh, yeah, Fringy could be. Fringy could be. I don't know. Fringy's got his own thing going. He's carved out this little <laughs> niche of. Um, I, I don't know quite know how to describe it. it not placidity, but a. There's a certain demeanor that he has that I don't really, I don't think there's really He's a comparison He's dacklative or phrasmatic, you'd say. Ooh, these are fun words. Dacklative <laughs> of the nature of or making a declaration. No, that's declarative. Did you make up these words? <laughs> no, they're totally <laughs> real. I'm kind oh, of goodness. compunctious about all of this. Well, that one's. I think you... That one's compunctious is truly real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, to have compunction, one with compunction. Of course. Wait, you said you're. You no, you're not compunctious. Not about this. You said you're compunction about compunctious about this, but you're was, not. You I did was it. Just sharing how I feel and I get punished. That's the. You how said it feels. you see. I could hear the smile in your voice when you said you're yeah, compunctious about this. Well, am I not allowed to not. smile now? Is that it? No, you're not allowed to smile when you're. Bring. I can't work under these conditions. Compunctiousness. <laughs> you're not working. You're lying. Lying, lying is work. <laughs> lying is a lot. Of effort I don't know. Maybe it comes lying. naturally to some people, Mister <laughs> Compunction. What you said, dacklative and what? Fras phrasmatic? This is just causing pericombobulation, I would say. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's real. Yeah? No, I thought that one would be real. I, th yeah. I had a feeling that it would be real. Because I was thinking. Real one. I was about 80% sure it was real. And about 20% thinking, did he just throw para in front of... Because I know discombobulate, and I know, like, para as a prefix. So, like, hmm, is he doing a sneaky here? Is he just, uh, is, is he just monster mashing things together to create these, these Frankenstein words? But yeah, paracombobulation. Uh, disturbance and confusion, which is exactly what you've created by saying paracombobulation. He's a great word. I don't think phrasmotic's real, but phrasmotic sounds quite real. I'm glad we've all learned something today. Uh, yeah. No, phrasmotic is real. It means very apologetic. The Empire is never more alive than when we sleep. No sleeping, guys. Cover more negative reviews of Andor. Too many people sleep on Andor. Cough, uh, Gary, as. I think Damn, that's... Damn, Gary and as. 
It's, it, it, let season two come out, see how it goes. If it's as good as season one, I feel like Andal will be sealed in a strong, like, that was awesome that we got that sort of thing. Yes. I really hope they nail it because it would be nice to recognize that it's possible if they just fucking give the right people the right power and the right money and the right, right time. time. Yeah. I Right now, my fingers are crossed such that they resemble the double helix. I'm like, please, please be good. I'm, but I'm I'm the same way with House of the Dragon season two, Arcane course, season yeah. two. Like, I have a lot of optimism, but you know that there is that little niggling feeling in the back of my head that's like, you know, what if it's shit? I think though? it's because... But what if they ruin it? There's like... If, say scale it in any way you want, but like if I was to say there's like a hundred ways they can do it great, there's like a bajillion ways they could do it wrong. Yeah. So I, you know, it's, it's like sort of like Dr. I hope Strange we hit one of those hundred. Yeah. <laughs> How many ways can it be done right <laughs> out of four hundred four hundred and seventeen million possible futures? One. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please. Oh, that shit made no sense by the time you watch that game, eh? No. Nope. Uh, well led, Fringoid. Keep, uh, meme, keep that elbow moving. Oh, well, thanks. Appreciate it. That's, uh, yeah, trying to, trying to dissect the marvels is, uh, yeah. tough. It's a Herculean. <laughs> it's... it's a Herculean oh. task. A uh, Herculean? Uh, is it Herculean I or actually Herculean? don't know which. I, I've, I think I feel both like are acceptable. I've both. I think I've said both. I tend to say Herculean, but I think well, Herculean I mean, if, is allowed. So oh, it literally Her says both on the definition. Herculean and Herculean. I wonder if it should be Heraclean task, because, you know, Heracles, right? No, Hercules. <laughs> am I, wait, what? Uh, what, right, Fringy, what, what am happened. I? We had another what? Freudian. No, so Fringy's referencing no, something. No, no, no. No, I uh -huh. I thought uh isn't isn't it that like uh I thought cuz Hercules is like that's I thought it was uh I thought it was Heracles was the actual that's like the actual name but Hercules was like the Roman equivalent. Heracles and Hercules right. are two different names yeah. for the same figure in Greek mythology known for his heroic feats of strength. Hercules, the more yeah. common form is based on the Latin version of the original Greek name rendered in English as Heracles. That's yeah. That's what I mean. So like, that's that's what only I... one of them met Danny DeVito. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Which I is watched, the um, I, the canon one. I watched Hercules a few weeks ago. Um, that's with, a fun uh, movie. I'd, it really is a super fun movie. Um, we'll be it was, movies uh, in that a, one eventually. It was a joy. That movie was very funny. It's up there with um, because we were, I was talking with some of my uh, my family about it. We were talking about like Disney movies and things. And we were talking about what are the funniest ones. Of, of, the, of the great Disney movies. And I'm thinking, yeah, Milan, I said Milan is the funniest, but Hercules is really, it's gunning for that. It, I think it's got that number I two mean, slot. I will say Emperor's New Groove is really competitive oh, yeah. for the funniest, uh, the funniest one. That is a very, is, was that Disney or was that DreamWorks? No, that's Disney. That was, okay. uh, that was the one after, ta uh, after Tarzan. The, uh, the, oh, okay. the, it, is the, it was yeah, the first okay. one that was past the Renaissance. It would, and it shouldn't be past the Renaissance. It should be the end of the Renaissance. It's I love the Empire's money. Move. That's the reason why it's uh, it wasn't successful financially. It is um, not just... fair because that movie is incredible. It's hilarious. Good. <laughs> it's great, got great animation, like really wrong and Yizma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. I, I love great. the Emperor's New Groove. It's hilarious. It's like nonstop yeah. jokes. It really is, yeah. It was designed like you get the. It clearly was designed ground up to be like a comedy that you could take seriously. Uh, extinct animal of the day, Mylagaulis, the most metal of groundhogs. Really the most oh, metal oh. of groundhog. Yo, that is pretty metal. That looks like something uh, <laughs> from Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> looks like I like a post you guys. A, a I like him a lot. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> they got their little uh, little noses there. Their little little nose horns. I wonder what they use yeah. it for. Hmm. Wonder why they developed. Oh, fair enough. Nice. And I that no clue. It could just be a pointless mutation that maybe they made. Well, the thing is, a lot of the times is that if you have a mutation and it doesn't like prevent you from like reproducing, then that mutation just can eventually become a part of the population. 
and even if the mutation doesn't happen for any like particular reason it's just it quote unquote random a creature can find a use for it and then it can change and grow based off of a sort of uh, incidental usefulness and all of these things kind of add up to the reason why we have such incredible biodiversity and that's that final message thank Hooray. you very much uh thank you Hope you uh, had fun listening to us get to your messages. We thank you very much for sending them in. Appreciate it. Yeah. And for now, we shall say goodbye. That's right, everyone. Yeah, goodbye. Later, everybody. We will see you later. Bye-bye.